Hello, good evening. Hello, Aida Marisol, good evening. How are you tonight? Um, hello, teacher, good evening. That's fine. Hello. I am excellent. Oh, you're excellent. That is great. Very good. Is it raining in the place where you live? No. Oh, no, yet. No, it's raining. Oh, no, it isn't raining. That is great. So, Aida Marisol, uh, let's see. In yesterday's class, we were studying some counts nouns and also non count nouns, right? And also the words that we uh, can use when we are talking uh, using these nouns. So, let's see. For example, we learned yesterday a lot. A few, a little, many, much, and let me see, one. So any two, right? Some and any. Those were the words that we studied yesterday in yesterday class. So let's see. We also study vocabulary, right? About some uh, let's see, complaints that we have in our neighborhoods. So we say pollution, we say trash. We say noise, eh, parking spaces, parking, parking, and what was crime, crime too, right? And we also use there is and there are told um about places right in your neighborhood. So do you remember this word? Do you remember these words? Uh, let's see, for example, how do you say hay poco crimen en mi vecindario? There is any crime in my neighborhood. Excellent sentence. There is uh, there isn't any crime. There isn't, there any, isn't crime. any crime. There isn't any crime in my neighborhood. Perfect. That is great. What about pollution, Aida? Um, that's a lot. Complete sentence. There, there is. There is a lot. A lot pollution. Pollution, excellent sentence. That is the sentence. And there is a lot pollution. And what about restaurants, Aida? It's a, there is a few. There are a few restaurants. There are a few restaurants in my neighborhood. Very good sentence. Thank you so much. Uh, hello, Flor Ramos. Hello, Maria Martinez, Maria Magdalena. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? How are you tonight? Hello. 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 I have some very occupation today. Oh, I, you, you had a very busy day today. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for your for the pregunta. Okay, excellent. That's right. Welcome to the class. Uh, Maria Magdalena, how are you tonight? Flor, how are you tonight, Flor? I know very good day. Really? Do you feel so tired tonight? No. Yes. I too much work. Exhausted. Uh, oh, you are exhausted tonight. Okay, don't worry, right? In 45 minutes, right? We're going to end the class. Up now is 55, so <laughs> Okay, but I had fun, right? Practicing and listening to the class. So, welcome to the class. Hello, Alfredo, Kevin. Good evening. Then, let's start with the class tonight, right? To start the class tonight, we're going to have a spelling activity um, using the vocabulary in the class, right? So, if you know how to spell the word, you just start and tell me. Okay, are you ready? Ah, do you know what is a spelling? 
What is a spelling? In English, there is a very uh, famous and common competition which is called a spelling bee. Deletrear? Oh, yes. Deletreo. Deletrear. So, do you remember the alphabet? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit? Ah, okay. Um, any volunteer to tell me the alphabet in English? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, K, L, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, B, U, W, X, Y, C. Um, okay, okay, almost perfect, right? You just made two mistakes there. Uh, the U was missing, right? U, V, U, V. And you say B, U. So U, V, W, X, Y, C. B, U. B, U. Yes, U, V, U, V. U, V, okay, U, V. So, okay, so let's remember the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Those are the letters of the alphabet. So let's start with these very easy words that I have here for you today. And for tonight, we're going to have a review of the three sections that we have been studying, right? Let's start with this. So meter exam review, we are going to have a review for you to take the meter exam and you get a good grade. So Jessica says, okay. Okay, Jessica Hernandez, I understand. So don't worry. Let me share with you the presentation for tonight. Let me see, please, if you can see my presentation. Let me know, please. Can you see my presentation? Yes, we can. Thank you so much. So this is the lesson update for tonight. In this lesson, we will have a review of the three first section of this course. So spelling game, the first word is between. Is this one between? Anyone need to spell it? Me. Me. Oh. Okay, Flor, tell me. B A A, -A T W A A M. Mm, okay, in. very good try. But how do you say E in English? Is E. E, right? So is, uh, can you try again? Flor, can you try again? E is E. E, E, T. E. 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 Okay, B, e, 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 T, W, E, E, M. E, M. E, E, M. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Let's see the next one is hospital. Hospital, any volunteer? Who wants to spell this word? Hospital is the word. Is this the word? Hospital. Anyone? Thank you. Do it, please. H O S P I T A L. Excellent. That is, you were right in this part. Thank you. The next one is a restaurant. Any volunteer to spell restaurant? Me, teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Is R E S T A U R A N T. That was perfect. Excellent. Thanks. The next one is behind. Mm -hmm. Anyone in here? If not, I'm going to choose somebody. Teacher. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. 
B E H I N D. Perfect. Thanks. The next one is always. A F O W H G S. Me teacher. Thank you. A L W A Y S. Thank you. That was perfect. Excellent. And this other one. Me and E B E R R. R. Yes. R. Okay, very good. Se corrigió a tiempo. R. R is the correct. Usually. Usually is the next. U S U. Any volunteer? Me. Uh, tell me. U S U A L L G. Almost perfect. The last letter is it G or Y? White. Sorry, white. Okay. <laughs> in, in white. Sorry, white. <laughs> okay. And the next, let's see what the next around here we have. Bank. B A M Q. Almost perfect. The last letter is K. It K, K or Q. K. 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 Excellent. What about often? Any volunteer? Me again. Okay. okay, tell me. O F T E M. Perfect. Thank you. What about number three? Much. Ana Gabriela, eh. would you like to try? M U C H. Excellent. Thanks. Let's see. Maria Martinez, would you like to try the next one? Many. M I N Y. Almost perfect. The second letter again. Casi perfecto. The second letter M. I M Y. Is this I or A? A. A, yes. A is the right word there. The, the right letter there. So sometimes. Oh, this is a long word. Sometimes. Any? Any right person who wants to try this one? Sometimes. It sure. Thank you. Let's do it. S O M E T I M E S. Perfect. That was perfect. Thank you. Twice. Anyone? T W I C A E. Excellent, very good. E is the last one. And this is the last one. Once. Yeah, me teacher. Thank you. O M C E. Perfect. That was very good. So how do you feel remembering the alphabet? So we need to practice the alphabet, right? It's very important. It's very important to learn how to spell, right? So, and must be in phone calls, right? If you don't understand something, you have to, uh, to the other person to spell, right? To spell what is he saying. So we need to practice the alphabet. A very good try. So look at this word. We have been studying this vocabulary. Between is a preposition of place. Hospital is a place in the city. And the same restaurant. Behind is another preposition. Always is a frequency adverb to answer often. And also never and usually. Bank, another place in the city often. Another frequency adverb. Much, many, twice, uh, sorry, much and many. Counts and no counts now, right? Sometimes another uh, frequency adverb. Twice and once. Phrases. 
uh, that we use to answer how often, right? So we have been studying this vocabulary. So let's go with this small conversation here. And we are going to listen it. So pay attention, please, to the pronunciation because we are going to practice this conversation. Lisa and Peter are. Are you able to listen? Yes. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Okay, one question for you. Where were Lisa? Where were Lisa? Australia. Australia. How she was the Australia. weather there? How was the weather there? It was it was pretty cloudy and cool. It and how how long did it rain? How long did it rain? Yeah. For two whole days. Okay, excellent. For two holidays. For oh, two yeah. holidays. And what places did she visit? Mm. What places did Lisa visit? Um, she visits a lot of museums and some uh, cinema or, or cinema. Yes, some movies. Very good. So, any new word in this conversation? Mm. New vocabulary there? Whole is like a completo. Yes. Okay. And Hold. windy? Windy. Um, que hace mucho viento. Ah, okay. Thank you. Ventoso. Any word there? Okay, let's listen again. Listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation and then I will need some volunteer to practice in this conversation. Pay attention. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted yeah. to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? The volunteers to practice in this conversation. Yes, the volunteer, and we move to the other conversation. Who wants to try it? Yeah. Okay, I have Alfredo and Alfredo. Daniel Pacas. Okay, Daniel, thank you so much. Alfredo and Daniel. Alfredo, you are A, Daniel, you are B. Can you please start this conversation, please? Okay, so Lisa, uh, where did you go for your vacation? To Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? No. Yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves was really scary. It was very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf. No, but I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How do you spend your vacation? That was excellent. No pronunciation mistake. Very good pronunciation. Very good pronunciation. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Lisa and Peter are talking. Let's go uh, with the second part of this conversation. 
let's pay attention, please. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Okay, how was the weather in the place where Peter was? How was the weather? It was good and bad because mm. it's changed because was changed very quickly. Okay, excellent. Then it's a Sundays where sunny and warm. Sunny and warm. Sunny. But other days where cold. cold and wet. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? Wet is húmedo. Yes, wet is húmedo. You are right. Steve Long, the trip is... Um, let's see what is it. Ah, but I yeah. still love the trip. It still is. Pero aún más sí, ¿verdad? Todavía así me gustó mucho el viaje. Still, es yeah. todavía. Es una expresión como de a pesar de todo, ¿verdad? Oh, oh. oh yeah. You can translate in this way too. A pesar de todo, me gustó el viaje. Me gustó mucho el viaje. Yes, in this, we can translate in this way at this time. Any new word? What is the meaning of the sentence? The weather can change very quickly in the mountain. Can you repeat the question, please? What is the meaning of the phrase or the sentence? The weather can change very quickly in the mountain. No idea. Ni me puede cambiar rápidamente en la montaña. Okay, excellent. El clima puede ser puede cambiar rápido in the mountain, rápidamente en la montaña. Very good. So listen the second time, please pay attention to the pronunciation and intonation right especially the question how they read the question teacher teacher yes a cada question o sea que quickly es como dar a entender este eh, más rápido algo así rápido yes quick quickly rápido porque en ese momento no sería very fast very fast ah, it is a synonym right they means the same mm -hmm. okay So here we go. Let's listen again. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Any to volunteers to practice and then we move to another activity. Just to volunteers. Who wants, who wants to practice tonight? Just two. Me, teacher. Thank you, Aida. Let me take notes. Aida N. Me. Okay. Um, let's choose Maria Magdalena at this time. And then we're going to have another round with you guys. So thank you so much. Let's listen Aida first and Maria Magdalena. Maria Magdalena, you are A, and Aida Marisol, you are B. Can you please start, please? But what about you, sir? How do you spend your vacations? 
Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? It was good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountain. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still love the trip. Thank you very much. Now, any volunteer to answer the following question? How do you spend your vacation? How do you spend your last vacation? August vacation. How do you spend your vacation? Tell me two activities that you did on vacation. Any volunteer? But what about you, Peter? Yes, two volunteers. Tell me, how do you spend your last vacation? Can you say, I went to the beach, I read a book, I stayed home, I went shopping, I watched movies, I cleaned my house, I studied English, I listened to music, I take care of my kids. So what did you do last vacation? Just one. Quien salva la clase? Me yeah. teacher, basically, uh, sir, what I did was I took a trip. I went to Colombia, sir. Okay, that is excellent. Very nice experience. How was Colombia? It was really nice. It was not. It was not much uh, expensive. Uh, basically, I went to the bank in Colombia to exchange my money, and they gave me a lot of. Uh, I don't know how they they call their money, but. They gave me a lot of money. Okay, nice. Uh, the tarea, ¿cómo se llama la moneda de Colón? What is the name of the Colombian currency for the next class? Or anybody knows? Peso. Is it peso? Peso, peso colombianos. Peso colombianos. Ah, okay, pesos. Nice, very good. Así tenemos contadores en la clase. Ya ve, Alfredo. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that is great. Now let's go with this another exercise. After the conversation, we are going to remember these four words. Long, good, well, and often. We study four questions with this word. How long, how good, how well, and how often. Right? So let's see if we can remember, right, how to use this word in a question. Let's see number one. How do you work out? And here we have the answer every day. I'm a really fitness freak. How long do you work out? How long do you work out? How often? How often? Sorry, how often? Yes, how often? Very good. You change your mind again in the right yes. moment. How often? Yes. Very good. How often do you work out? Every day, I'm a real fitness freak. Second one, how do you play tennis? How oh, well? How well? Let's see if I'm right. Yes. How well do you play tennis? About hours, but I'm getting better and better. Number three. How long? Let's see. The answer is just three minutes a day. That's the time. Okay. How long do you spend at the gym? Just three minutes a day. Who has the time? And number four. Good. What? Let's see if you're right. The answer is okay. yes, right? How oh, good are you at yeah. soccer? Okay, I guess it's not really my favorite sport. Okay, I guess it's not really my favorite sport. Nice. There is a mistake in one of these sentences. What is it? Who can find it? What's the mistake in the sentences?
ว่า two three four five sorry teacher what is the question there is a mistake in one of these equations what is it what is the mistake and the number two how well do you oh yes you're right how well do you play tennis nice very good right you did it to find it nice now two volunteers to practice in this small conversation and then we move to another exercise just two volunteers tonight for practicing this in this short conversation No volunteers, then I'm gonna choose floor and let's go. Floor and Abel, can you Abel? Okay, teacher. Okay, floor, you are A. Abel, you are B. Can you please practice? Okay. Uh, okay. How how often do you work out? Every day. Um okay. How well do you play tennis? About well, average, but it's getting better. Getting better. How low, low, low do you spend on the gym? Yes, but I mean it a day to have the time. How good are you at soccer? Okay, I guess. It's not reading my degree for. Okay, just go. Thank you very much. Uh, just in this word, long. How long? long. How, How long? long do you spend at the gym? How long do very you spend at the gym? Perfect now. And the rest was okay. Thank you so much for your help in this. Then let's go with the next exercise. I hope you're ready. Correct the password of the bird. Choose the correct password of the bird. Then we have the you home last night and I have the word stay. No, I didn't. What did you? I dancing at the new club on A Street. So she and my were there too. Oh, really? Yes, we a great time. Where you? I in the laundromat all evening. How boring. Actually, no, I met my friend there. We the evening laughing and talking. So what is the passport of this bird? Stay. Stay at the... Also stay. Okay, exactly. Yes, we need to add ED, right? Stayed. Did you stay at home last night? No, I didn't. What did you? What do you do? What did you do? Perfect. The next one. Go. What is the simple password? Go. When. when let's see when. yes i went dancing at the new club on a street susan and i were there too or oh, really yes we had 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 perfect so, sorry sorry teacher i have a question for the yeah. third for the first uh, exercise did you stay Ah, ok, muy good. Here is a mistake, right? Ya encontró uno de los dos. Did you stay? Eh, ¿Cómo debe ir en pasado el verbo? In the. En su forma base. Okay, ok, en su forma base sin conjugar. Very good. That is nice. So, this is one of the mistakes in this part. So, very good job. Stay. And the next, where... Where? Where? Where were you? And number six, I was 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 in the laundromat all evening. How boring! Actually, no, I met my friend there and got a new guy. We spent 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 the evening laughing and talking. Nice. Now, what is the other mistake in yeah. this? There is a word that it isn't correct. What is it? Can you find it? 
Can you find a second mistake in this slide? What is it? Dancing, no. I think that is uh, the third line, the new clue on 8th Street, the word 8. Mm, okay. I don't know what is. The eight? Line. No, that is correct because 8, it's 8 in this case. That is good, 8. In la octava calle, so eight. In este caso, es número ordinal, eight. Octavo. That is correct. Can you please read again the instructions? I'm correct. Okay, they were correct, right? Okay, you didn't tell me about that. So, very good. You find you found the two mistakes here in this slide. Thank you so much. Then let's go with the next exercise. Choose the correct answer. Um, we are going to choose the correct word to complete the following sentences in this. So I have some questions and you need to choose the correct word to complete the sentences there. Excuse me, is there a gas station in here? Yes, there is. There's around the corner. So I need any one, one or son to complete this. One. One. Yeah, you're right. One. How hotels are there in this neighborhood? Many. 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 There are a little much or a few. A few. A few. Excellent. And number four, is there public transportation near here? And finally, no, there isn't. No. No. Any. No. No. Any. No, no, no. No, there isn't any. No, there isn't any. No, there isn't any. How do you say none and no? No. None, none. No. Okay. Pero la oración sería en afirmativo. There is none. There is none. Okay, very good. Thank you. I can see that you remember very well the, the use of this word. So now I need to volunteer to practice in this a small conversation. So who wants to try? I need to volunteer to practice. Can you please? Anybody wants? Just the volunteers, guys. And we move to the other exercise for tonight. Me. Who say me? Can you tell me your name, please? Me, Aida. <laughs> okay, Aida and... Who wants to practice with Aida? Aida again. <laughs> Aida again. No volunteers, then I will pick somebody. Me? Me? Who say me? Me? Hello? Abel, Abel where are you? Yeah. Okay, Aida and Abel. Abel, you are A. Aida, you are B. Can you please start? Okay, excuse me, there is a question here. Yes, there is, there is one around the corner. How many hospitals are there in the neighborhood? There are a few. Excuse me, ah, is there much public transportation in here? No. There isn't any. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Abel. Thank you, Aida, for your help. Then let's move to this other exercise. Order the word to make correct sentences. Okay. Uh, pushemos el chat. Let's do the chat. 
Pueden escribir en el chat la oración correcta. Let's start with number one. Write on the chat, please. Dinner, often, TV, I, watch, after. What is the right order of this events? Let's see who's the winner. Let's start your answer. I'll follow it. Like what? The three sentences or uh, just the number one teacher? Yeah, just the number one, please. Just the number one. Oh, okay. Well, say Daniel, say I often watch TV after dinner. I often watch TV after dinner, Kevin. And we had a winner, right? Jose Daniel was the first one. Congratulations. I often watch TV after dinner. And then I have Kevin answers. Aida answers. I often watch TV. Uh, Aida after what is missing. Sorry, there? sorry, sorry, sorry. Teacher, sí, se volvió el after. No lo puse por... Es que... Y que sabe que tengo un perrito que nunca me deja recibir la clase tranquila. No se imagina cómo está aquí. No, no le puse el after. No, oh, take it easy. Take it easy. Don't worry. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Take it easy. So I have another real answer. I often watch TV after dinner. Ah, oh, I see answer the second one too. Do you ever pop it in even in? Nice. Uh, Ana. One, what is missing in the second one? Then let's go with the second one. Tie the second answer, please. Jose Daniel said, do you ever do coffee in evening? Jose Daniel, one, what is missing? Kevin, one, what is missing there? And don't forget about capital letter, Kevin. Nobody has tied correctly the second one too, to have the chance, you still have the chance. In your coffee, there to bring ever eating. Oh, I have a lot of answer now. I remember some say, do you ever drink coffee in the room? Yes, the almost perfect. So you have to start the equation with capital letter and at the end, the equation mark. Later, a very good try. Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? evening? Kelly, one word is missing again. Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Maria Magdalena, you are right. That's the right answer. Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Perfect. Let's go with the third one, number three. I have very doesn't get much in exercise. Kevin, I'm sorry, that is not the right answer, but it's not the right order of the work. So saying, yeah, doesn't very much exercise. Uh -uh, almost, but no, no yet. Let's try again. Then I have a bill. Uh, Jeff doesn't exercise very much. That is perfect, Abel. Abel, you have the right answer first. And, and like Abel, I guess, doesn't exercise very much. Perfect sentence, again. But Abel was first. But very good, and like Abel, I did it excellent. So those are the answers. For the first one we have, I often watch TV after dinner. In the second one, do you ever bring coffee in the evening? And at the end, the question mark. And the last one, Jeff does an exercise very much. Ah, that word was missing. Yeah. Jeff does an exercise very much. 
Jeff does an exercise very much. Thank you so much for participating in this activity. And then let's go with this one. This is an speaking activity, so I'm going to ask you this question. And you are going to give me answers. At least three answers, right, for every question. So, tres participantes por cada pregunta. So, are you ready? Are you ready to start? Por lo menos tres respuestas o preguntas, okay? Let's do it, let's practice. Number one, how often do you go to the dentist? Here, we are going to use frequency adverbs. Always, usually, sometimes, hardly ever, seldom, never. Or we can use frequency phrases like uh, every two weeks, every two months, twice a year, once a year. I sometimes go to the dentist. Thank you. I have the first answer. Thank you so much. Second answer. How often do you go to the dentist? Abel has one participation. Anybody? Three times up to a month. Complete <laughs> sentence. I go to the dentist. Oh, I go to the dentist three times. Three times. I didn't remember. Uh, three times a month. Three times a month? Uh, okay, yes. very good. Jose. Mm. Tres veces al mes. Okay, nice. Um, the last one. How often do you go to the dentist? I need another answer in this question. Teacher, I yes. go to the dentist in the January and November. Okay, I go to the dentist uh, in January mm -hmm. and in November. Yes. Very good, Maria. Oh, you can say I go to the dentist twice a year, dos veces en el año. Okay. And very good, your sentence, right? Cuando estamos hablando de meses, cuando solo decimos el mes, utilizamos in. In January, in November. Si decimos la fecha completa, utilizamos on. On January 10, on January 11, on November 2nd. Entonces utilizamos on. Thank you for your sentence, Maria. Very good. Let's go with the second one. How often do you buy clothes? I need three answers. How often do you buy clothes? Me. Abel, tell me. I buy one time clothes in the year. Mm, okay, very good. Try. Right. So I buy clothes once a year. I buy clothes once a year. Una vez a la. Thank you, Abel, for your participation. Second answer. <laughs> Oh my God, I buy clothes uh, twice a month. <laughs> twice a month, ah, okay, nice. Yeah. You were, uh, I Maria, sometimes buy clothes. I sometimes buy clothes, very good. So, Maria Magdalena, right? And, and the last one? I couldn't see. Can participate the ultimo? Sorry, can you please tell me your name? I'm taking notes of your participation at this time. So I buy go. clothes twice a week. Twice a week? You must have a lot of clothes, yes. right? Dos veces por semana? <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Is it okay. <laughs> you must have a very big, right? Closet. In the shipping center. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Bueno. Como yo siempre digo, para mí es nuevo. 
Ok, muy bien. Debe de tener un closet muy grande en casa. Ok, thank you. Let's go with the next one. Buy shoes. How often do you buy shoes? I buy shoes to in the year. No me acuerdo cómo se dice veces. Twice. Si son dos, es twice. I buy shoes twice a year. Twice a year. I buy shoes twice a year. Me gustaría ser más honesta. Compro cada vez que hay promoción. Ah, ok. Every time the shoes are on sale, I buy shoes. Nice. Solo por curiosidad, ¿cuántos pares de zapatos tienen las señoritas acá en la clase? Yo soy fan de los tenis y tengo como seis pares de tenis. Ah, ok, that is great. María Magdalena, how many pairs of shoes do you have? At least um, 15, maybe. 15. Veamos la contraparte. Kevin Eduardo, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Uh, I have uh, eight shoes. Okay, eight pairs of shoes. Nice. Uh, veamos. Jose Daniel, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Sorry, teacher. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Um, I have three pairs. Okay, can okay. you see? Los caballeros solo necesitamos tres pares. Los tacos para ir a jugar fútbol, los tenis para ir al parque y los de vestir para ir al trabajo. And we are okay with that. Y los de la gear, teacher. <laughs> Okay, nice. And girls, they need a lot of shoes, right? Very good. Let's go with the next question. How often do you eat pupusas? How often do you eat pupusas? I need three answers. ¿Cómo se dice veces, teacher? No lo puedo repetir. Um, si es una vez, decimos once. Si son dos veces, decimos twice. Si es tres, Three times. Y ahí comenzamos a utilizar times. Three times, four times, five times. Okay. I eat pupusas two, twice, every day. Okay. Twice a day. I eat pupusas twice a day. Dos veces en día. Very good. Sentence. Ya tengo una, I need two more. Mi teacher. Tell me. I eat pupusas almost every day. Perfect. That's great. The last sentence, the last answer for this question, how often do you eat pupusas? Mi teacher, I eat pupusas, pupusas twice a month. Twice a month. Very good. Ah, you are very healthy. Dos meses al mes. Ah, muy saludable para comer. Great. And drink coffee. How often do you drink coffee? Yeah. Mm. Every day. Drink coffee every day. <laughs> oh, really? Five times a day. Five never, times a day. I never, I never drink coffee. Uh, okay. I never drink coffee. I always drink coffee. I always drink coffee. Very good sentences. Then let's go to number eight. Tell lies. How often do you tell lies? I usually tell lies in my work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Esperemos que su jefe no vea el video. Thank you. And I need two more answers in this place. How often do you tell I, lies? I never tell lies. <laughs> Uh, creo que eso fue una mentira. Okay, let's continue with the class. <laughs> I need one more. One more answer. How often do you tell lies? I always say lies. I always say lies. They are bad, but they are very useful, right? 
Las mentiras son malas, pero qué útiles son. And let's go with the last one. How often do you eat ice cream? I eat ice cream one time a month. I eat ice cream once, once a month. Una vez al mes, once a month. Very good. I eat ice cream once a month. Thank you. I need two more answers. Me, I hardly ever eat ice cream. Thank you. You are very healthy too. The last one. How often do you eat ice cream? Nobody? One, two. What? Me, teacher. Tell me, Aida. I eat ice cream twice a week. Twice a week. Very nice. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Um. Is the uh, ice cream the yogurt? Okay, yogurt ice cream. Is I love it, yao yao. Ah, oh, really? But that is too expensive. Mm. It's really. delicious. <laughs> it's yes, delicious. it is. Yes, it is. But it's very expensive. But solo fue una vez y no vuelto a ir. <laughs> 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 El pequeño, de salir, de salir. <laughs> okay, great. Let's go with the next uh, speaking part. What did you do last weekend? Uh, two answer in this. What did you do last weekend? Two activities that you do last weekend. Two answers. Who wants? Who wants to try it in this one? Teacher, last is el pasado o el futuro del fin de semana? El pasado. La semana pasada. Okay. Yes, what did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hizo el fin de semana pasado? I go, no, pero es pasado, ¿verdad? Was. Porque fui I, donde mis papás. When. I went. Ah, okay. I went. To visit, visit my father and mother. Okay, yes. And I went work in the Saturday. Excellent. I went to work on Saturday and I visit my father and my mother. In esa frase también podemos utilizar parents. Cuando nos referimos a mamá y a papá, we say parents. So I went to visit my parents. Thank you. And second answer, what did you do last weekend? I visited my cousin. Excellent sentence. Let's go with the second question. What did you do this morning? Today, what did you do this morning? I wake up at 7 a.m. Perfect. Just walk up. I walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Yes. yes. Perfect sentence. Next one. I need another answer in this. What did you do this morning? I woke up very late. I, I slept a lot. Okay. Okay. Can be it. Todos en el grupo la envidiamos. Se despertó tarde en miércoles. Nice. Let's see number three. What did you do last night? I am studying English. Okay, excellent. I studied English. I need another answer in the third one. What did you do last night? The next one. I watch. I watch videos. I watch videos, nice. I watch some videos. And the last one, what did you do yesterday? To answer it. Just to finish the class, I need to answer What did you do yesterday? I mailed 
food for my parents. Uh, okay, oh, I, I cooked. I cooked. I cooked a food for my parents. Great sentence. Okay, ¿cómo es la última? Cinco respuestas. Ya tengo una, me son falta cuatro. What did you do yesterday? I worked at eight uh, a.m. to six p.m. Okay, I worked from eight a.m. to four p.m. Six six p.m. Okay. From from eight yeah. to four. From eight to four. Okay. Thank you. Good sentence. Three are missing. I was okay. I was not in class yesterday. I wasn't in class yesterday. Very good. Perfect sentence. Okay. Me, teacher. Tell me. Oh, I went to the airport. Um, I say goodbye, my son. Very good to say two sentences. I went to the airport and said bye-bye to my family. Excellent. The last one, when it's missing. I learned English. I learned English, perfect, very good. I washed my clothes, teacher. I washed my clothes, perfect sentence too. And that is great, right? Ya ven? Si, los hombres también lavan. Very good, Kevin. So, um, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. And we have had a great time, right? Practicing, answering questions, solving exercises. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you are ready to take the meter exam. ¿Quién ya hizo el examen en el medio curso? ¿Quién ya lo hizo? Me. Ah, me. okay, Aida. ¿Cuántos se sacaron? How was your score? Uh, you say 10, teacher. It was 10. Ten. <laughs> ok. Uh, la es que como si teníamos un error nos da la opción de poderlo. Digamos que si nos, nos equivocamos una vez nos da la opción de poderlo, o sea, verificar y poderlo cambiar. Okay. Si tenemos un error o, o buscar ahí las opciones para poderlo arreglar. La plataforma tiene esa facilidad, ¿verdad? El objetivo es que usted practique ¿verdad? lo más posible. Entonces, por eso tiene la facilidad de que usted pueda corregir los errores. Okay. Ajá, de buscar sí. las opciones. Si no ha completado el examen, recuerde que tiene esta semana para completar la sección 3 y el examen del medio curso. Section number 3 and the midterm exam. That is your work for this week. Thank you so much, guys, for being here with me. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Have a good Thank night. Bye-bye. Good See night. You. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Love you. Thanks.